Are you ready? How's it going? It's June 26th, and finally, episode one, season four of American Picker Man. I have to apologize for being late. I've just been super busy, and I just can't seem to, you know, get a gap of time uh, large enough to really put a video together. So I'm hoping to do some more videos this year, uh, but I'm not going to guarantee anything. Just have to keep checking back. Uh, going to run things a little bit differently this year. I'm not going to be showing any more common stuff. No more Nintendo games. No more Game Boys. No more. Uh, Yahtzees or whatever. Uh, I'm going to try and stick with the more interesting things, things that at least I find interesting, things that I don't see frequently at yard sales or things that I haven't ever seen at yard sales. And to make up for how late this video is, I'm going to be doing a uh, hyper extended update on a few things that sold last week because it's actually not just last week, it's last month and the month before that. So uh, kick back uh, and enjoy. Here we go. Thirsty? Here's a Hornitos branded uh, Margarita, Margarita Maker. Paid ten dollars for it. Looking to get uh, thirty or forty for that because it's uh, unused. From nineteen eighty four, this is one of Tommy's Verbots. It's a voice activated robot. Picked up two of these and a chat bot. All three still in the boxes. Boxes are a little damaged, but the robots themselves are in great shape, even though they don't work real great. But they never really did. Uh, paid uh, ten dollars a piece for them, and they probably go for thirty dollars a piece. So that's a pretty good buy. Picked up a case right here this case it said 75 cents on it so I had to look and inside were a full set of 1 through 28 although I guess they go up to 32 or 36 I don't know uh, they're bridge boards for playing bridge uh, I've never seen them before and for 75 cents had to take the shot uh, each one of the boards has a full deck of bridge cards in it uh, probably go for these varied a lot so this will you know from 30 to a hundred dollars so probably get uh, I'm hoping 80 on this one picked up five of these uh, Lego architecture series kits uh, Sydney Opera House Sears Tower Willis Tower that is uh, what else uh, Guggenheim Museum a couple other ones sold two already I picked up five of them for $15 uh, sold two of them already for $26 as a set so there's three left I'm looking to get probably another 30 bucks for that so that's pretty good pretty good find there I picked up Plantronics uh, items in the past but this one was still sealed it's a telephone headset model s10 uh, unused, sealed up, paid uh, seven for it. Uh, looking to get around 30 or 40 for that. Hadn't seen one of these before, as far as I can remember. This is a uh, string dispenser, little uh, clay figure here. Put the ball of, ball of string in the back and feed it through the mouth and hang it on the wall, and you've got yourself a little handy dandy string dispenser. Cute little item, I paid five for it. Uh, it's already got a $18 bid on it, so that's good. From 1977, a Star Wars R2D2 model. Uh, this uh, has been opened. Uh, some of the parts are off the sprues, uh, but still verified complete. Paid seven for it. Looking to get around uh, 25, 20, 25 for it. The Beatles on compact disc. This is a copy of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Apparently, this is out of the UK. It's a limited edition. Comes with a uh, couple of extra things here. Uh, the CD that's still sealed, and behind there is the little button. Uh, paid. I think I paid just a dollar for it and looks like they go for around 30 to 40 pretty good at that same sale the lady was getting rid of a whole bunch of her Beatles stuff everything but the Beatles LPs and I picked up this little lot of uh, actually that one was not there but these uh, old Beatles uh, books here most of them from the 60s uh, obviously not all of them not that one uh, but uh, they're from the 60s and uh, pretty cool little books paid 10 cents a piece for them and I'm gonna try and sell them as a lot for about 30 or 40 this is a Bowen Hunter, uh, at least that's what it says on there, Bowen Hunter. It's a kaleidoscope, very kind of unique, I guess. Looks like it's made out of an old uh, thread spindle. It's a little little cracked on the edges there. I paid five for that. Uh, not too great a find there, 10 to 15 maybe. Don't normally buy cast iron pieces just because there's so many repos out there, but took a chance on this one. I paid five for that, it's a little bank. Pretty good condition. I thought I would get, uh, you know, it might sell under the Black Americana more than the cast iron bank category we'll see paid five for it looks like maybe only 10 to 15 
Seems like salt and pepper shakers are pretty hit, and, hit or miss and mostly miss, but these were kind of cute. Little couple of uh, Alcatraz, Alcatraz guys, uh, little prisoners there. Pretty good shape, a little sun fade on them, but they've got a $10 bid on them. I paid two bucks for them, so that'll work. Guys out there, if you're my age or around my age, uh, you probably remember the uh, Marks Pro Bowl live action football. Had a great big plastic sheet, uh, looked like a football field out there, and you use these to play your game. Rolled the blitzing linebacker in, ran the running back. Uh, I threw, it came with a box and some other parts, a lot of it was broken. I just kept the guys and some of the little, you know, the wind up controller here. Uh, I kept all that, I'm just gonna sell the parts as is. I paid only $2 for everything and I'll probably get around 15 or 20 for these parts. Not too exciting, but hadn't seen one before, so I bought it. It's a little Lulu bank, plastic bank, paid a dollar for it, might get five or 10. Little tin bank, paid two dollars for that. Uh, there's a lot of them out there, so they don't go for a whole lot. Might get ten or fifteen for it. Nice little bull of a automatic watch here. Automatic means it's a self winder. Uh, Setomatic watch, paid two dollars for that. It's got a forty-five dollar bid on it. Might go up a little bit more, but not too much more. Nice little watch. Picked up a nice little stack of uh, pendants here. These are probably from the seventies. A little bit sun faded. Got the Oilers, Seahawks, Jets. Falcons. Anyway, a few more. You get the idea. Here's a nice signed one from uh, one of our Broncos. Uh, I don't know. Tony Rizzo, I think it says. He gives a def Can you see that? Not really? Okay. Anyway, defensive guy from the Broncos from the 70s or 80s. Picked, uh, like I said, $3 for the whole stack, and they'll all go for 5 to 10 a piece, so that's a pretty good find. Picked up this resin palmistry hand. It's a wall, wall hanging. Uh, it's got a nice heavy feel to it, good looking. Looks old, but it's not. It's probably from the 80s. But uh, I only paid a dollar for that and looks like they go for 10 or 15. For a total of $15, picked up this nice stack of autographed pictures. Uh, I'll just go through them real quick here. Ellie May. It's uh, Donna Douglas. How could I forget? Donna Douglas, Ellie May from the Hillbillies. Bill Mummy from Lost in Space. Jonathan Fred. Jonathan Fred. Barnabas Collins, Dark Shadows. Uh, I can't read it. I didn't look up who this guy. Carl, Sh Sh I don't know. He was Lurch in the remake of the Adams Family movie. I'll save that one because that one's awesome. Dirt Benedict from uh, Battlestar Galactica. I haven't looked up what this guy's name is, but apparently he did the voice for the robot in Lost in Space. Butch Patrick, Eddie Munster. Ernie Banks, who played Ernie Banks, Tiny Tim, great, throw it on the floor, Donna Wells, uh, who is it, Marianne from Gilligan's Island, another Bill Mummy, another Ellie Mae, and I thought this one was funny, it says, uh, to Steve, you have a big beeper, love Linnea, or I don't know who that is, but apparently Steve has a big beeper, pick that up off the floor, Tiny Tim, and the best two, and the best two from the lot, even though I really like the Jonathan Frid one because I'm a big fan of Dark Shadows, uh, Adam West, Batman, and the best of the bunch, even though it's really signed on a lousy piece of paper, it's not a photo at all, it's like it's out of a magazine or something, but it is Julie Newmar, one of my all-time faves right there. Hot Catwoman from the Batman series from the 60s. Anyway, got all those, that whole lot for $15. Uh, they were all framed, but in real cheap frames, so I took them out. Going to sell them, most of them, and I should get around ten to twenty dollars for each one. So of those. many items to show you. We've had to go into day two. You'll notice the new shirt. Just a few more items, though. Uh, pick these up for thirty dollars. Uh, kind of a shot in the dark that's paying off well. These are Hendrickson. Hendrickson, I think, is the name. Uh, lead uh, Christmas display figures uh, from probably the 30s or 40s. Maybe the 50s, I'm not sure. But anyway, I paid $30 for them. I've already sold a number of them. Let me let me actually show you a little more there. So I've, I've got quite a few left. I already made about $140 gross on these things. So that's a pretty good find. Kind of a beat up old football here. Since somebody wrote their name on there, Wilson. And it is a Wilson. It's probably from the late 60s, early 70s. And the best part is it says Dick Butkus on there. You know, who doesn't like Dick Butkus? I don't know, probably somebody. But anyway, this I paid two dollars for that, looking to get maybe fifteen, maybe twenty for it. Uh, another two dollars spent on a sporting goods item, another Wilson ball, uh, different sale, but still a ball, just the same. And this one's a uh, pretty minty condition, and another 
classic great hero, uh, Harmon Kilbrew. Uh, looking to get about $30 or $40 for that. For $5, I picked up this World War II uh, brass shell. It's a Mark 1 40 millimeter, I guess. Uh, I paid $5 for it, and it's already been canceled twice on eBay, so I don't know what I'm going to do with it. One guy did email me and wanted to pay $70 for it. I should have taken it, and now I'm not hearing back from him, so. Uh, I am working on my own website, mypackrad.com, and hopefully uh, someday we'll get that up and maybe I'll put it up there. So keep an eye out for that someday in the not too distant future, I hope. Picked up uh, these, actually uh, more than these. I've already sold two batches of these. These are some old uh, butcher shop uh, rubber stamps, pork, ham, beef, lamb, all sorts of different ones here. There was a total of uh, about 90, I guess. 89. I sold two batches of 30 already for $50 a piece. This last batch also has a $50 bid on it. It also came with two uh, like carousels that held the stamps and uh, all that for $5 and I sold the carousel of stamps for $45 so hefty profit on that one. Flying A tires and tubes. It's uh, it's a decal, uh, water uh, you know, wet transfer decal. Picked up three of these for $10. The guy wanted five a piece, got three for 10 he had a stack of these too, uh, that and the uh, Vidon oil, I think it's called, um, decals like that. But a lot of them were stuck together, had some water damage. Fortunately, I got these three. You can see this one's got a little bit of water damage in the corner here. But I'm still hoping to get around 50 bucks a piece for those. I would have bought the whole stack, except that they were stuck together and just, uh, you know, too bad really, because that would have been a great find. But as it is, still a pretty great find. Uh, lastly, picked up this uh, set of Ray-Ban glasses and the case. Uh, really nice looking pair of uh, aviator glasses here, uh, and I thought they were in good condition. I thought they had paint spackle on them, but it turns out they're actually pitted, which I don't think you're going to be able to see here. But anyway, they are pitted, which is unfortunate because if they weren't pitted, $60 to $100, maybe more, uh, as they are with the pits, it's the pits. I'm hoping to get maybe 30 or 40 I don't know if I'll even get that, but we'll see. Anyway, that's it for this week. Uh, thanks for watching. All of my apologies again for the lateness of this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stick around for the extended version of updates on a few things that sold last week, and we'll catch you as soon as we can. Take care. Bye-bye.